Welcome to Transcribe Me's Transcriber Training. In this video, you'll see a real-time transcription. As I go through the audio, when there are decisions that need to be made, I will explain why I make the choices that I make. Enjoy the video! So I will start the audio and start transcribing, and when I come across something that I need to change or have to make a decision on, I'll explain why I decide what I do. I actually, another big push is going to be for uh, uh, video. Uh, 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 lost a word in my. Now the speaker here is stumbling a bit, and so sometimes you have to listen a little bit further along to see where he's going to go, so that you can decide what you need to include, uh, because we don't need to include all of the stutters and the false starts since we are doing a clean verbatim transcript. For um. Video, uh, 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 lost a word in my head. And he kind of gave up on what he was saying, so I included the false start and then continued with where he started up again. Lost a word in my head, but uh, telemedicine. Uh, telemedicine. Uh, so those are also going to be reimbursable. And here, Grammarly has told me that I have spelled a word wrong, so I will go ahead and fix that before I go on. Now, there are pilot programs starting next year through Meta. Next year through Medicare. But I think you're only going to see those grow over time. those grow over time and I think Medicare is going to say this is there's going to say this the speaker uses gonna a lot with his southern accent but we don't use that in clean verbatim we always transcribe going uh, we don't use those informal uh, slang contractions in clean verbatim Medicare is going to say this is definitely worth and because this is a quotation we will put the comma and the quote here is going to say this is definitely worth keeping patients out of the emergency department. It's out of the emergency department. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so the interviewer responded with an mm-hmm, but it was just feedback so we can ignore it and continue on with our current speaker. And uh, so we're, we're more than willing to pay for this for this to, uh, to decrease those huge hospital bills, to decrease those huge hospital bills. Whoops, that's still part of the quote, so I'm going to go back here and delete that and keep going. Hmm. And uh, so we're, we're more than willing to pay for this to, uh, to decrease those huge hospital bills. Okay, and you... Now, as you can see, I tend to let the audio play and then lift my foot from the foot pedal to stop it so that I can catch up with my typing. Got it. And do you think... If the speaker had only said, got it, and then the male speaker had continued, we would not have included that because that would have been feedback. But she continues speaking, and so therefore we do include it. Got it. And do you think a company like Digitac or EMS... Got it. And do you think a company like... Digitech or EMS Management. EMS Management Consultants would be able to. I am going to go do a quick Google search because I'm not sure on the spelling of this company. And they do use an ampersand, so we will include that in their title as well. Consultants would be able to benefit from this shift in or growth from this shift in or growth in community paramedicine. Community paramedicine, like would oh, absolutely. And I'm not sure on this. If I go back and read, and do you think the company like Digitech? It doesn't quite make sense. So I'm going to rewind a little bit and re listen to that to see if that's actually what was said. Yes, to, uh, to decrease those huge hospital bills. And I realized Got it. And do you think a company like 
Got it. And do you think a company like... Ah, she said a company, not the company. Do you think a company like Digitech? Do you think a company like Digitech or... And because this like is an example, we're going to leave that one in. That's not a feedback like or a, or a vocal crutch. Any like Digitech or EMS management and consultants would be able to benefit from this shift in, or growth in community paramedicine? Um, initially, I thought that might have been a false start there, but I don't really think it is. Shift or growth works there. Paramedicine? Like, would. Oh, absolutely. She starts to ask a question but doesn't get it finished, so we're going to include that. Oh, absolutely. Okay. I mean, let's just, I mean. Okay. I mean, let's just, I mean, no matter what. I mean, let's just. That's kind of a longer false start, so we're going to leave that one in there, indicate it as a false start, and then continue. I mean, let's just, I mean, no matter what. I mean, if you, if we. Oh, what magic was that? I used a snippet that if you go over to this section here, you can create snippets or text expanders that you can type a couple of characters that will then expand into the full word. So for I mean, my snippet is I M N, and it expands out to be I mean with a comma when I hit the space bar. You can do that for all kinds of things that you type regularly. What I mean, if you if you if, if, say for example, I mean if you if you if, if, say for example, um, I own, um, I own a billing company and I'm charging, and you know, I'm charging, um, you know, my client three uh, percent of of, uh, of revenue. I mean, well, I mean if they if it's an eight an eight hundred dollar a thousand dollar transfer. It's an eight hundred dollar a thousand eight hundred dollar a thousand dollar transport and you know I get three percent or if three percent or if they go out and do a community paramedicine a community paramedicine or if they go out and do a community paramedicine video. Now I'm not sure I typed this before as community care medicine, but now I'm hearing him say community paramedicine, and I'm going to go Google that because I'm not sure. Ah, and I find that community paramedicine is a thing, a relatively new and evolving healthcare model. So I'm going to go back and change that where it was in my transcript before, and this instant here. Three percent, or if they go out and do a community paramedicine. And if I continue down with my search screen here, I'm looking to see if it's capitalized in general use or not. And it doesn't appear to be if it's within a, a sentence to be capitalized. So I won't capitalize it either. Community para medicine. And then I need to go up back up here and change this instant where I got it wrong. I can do a community paramedicine visit and they charge 400. I'm still getting... I'm still getting my three percent, so my three percent. So you know, my, my volume goes up, and the number of claims that I'm pro for claims that I'm processing, mm -hmm. uh, but the number might not. The volume goes up, and the number of claims. He didn't say and. He said in. Up, and the number of claims that I'm processing, mm -hmm. uh, but the number might not be as high. But you know, now I'm processing. The number of claims that I'm processing, mm -hmm. uh, but the number might not be as high, but you know, now I'm processing twice as many, kind of thing. Any kind of thing. Got it. So community care medicine. Care, care medicine. I guess maybe I wasn't. I guess maybe I wasn't sure who like was running that. It's sure who like was running that is that like being now that like I'm leaving out because she does use like quite a bit as many people do when they're speaking but it doesn't mean an approximation or an example and so therefore it's just a vocal tick or a vocal crutch word that we can leave out got it so community paramedicine I guess maybe I wasn't sure who like was running that is that like being run by like a fire run by like a fire department or a municipality and this one 
There could be an argument made for leaving it in. So is it being run by like a fire, by sort of a fire department or someone else? So I think I'll leave that one. Quality, government or municipality. Or municipality. And it's yeah, just there. Like exactly. Yes, yeah, exactly. Okay. And it's yeah, just exactly. Okay. Now we had a little bit of crosstalk happening there, meaning that they were speaking at the same time. But if I focus on her voice, I can tell that she doesn't get any more of her question out. And if I focus on his voice, I can hear his answer. So therefore, I don't need a crosstalk tag because I could hear what both of them were saying. And it's yeah, just there. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. It's whoever provides EMS service for that community. Uh that community or, you know, whatever that jurisdiction is. Jurisdiction is. And they can choose to do it or they can choose not to, but. They can choose not to, but I think, uh, especially in rural areas. And then this sentence is getting a little long, so I may end that one there since it seems like he's going off in a different direction. Not to, but I think, uh, especially in rural areas, and when I say rule, I... And once again, he's changing. And when I say rule, I, you know, and when I say rule, I, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, the, the podunk counties that have, you know. Now, if you're not sure how to spell podunk, then a quick trip to Google where we could type in podunk. And I usually just type in Miriam Webster because that's, or any dictionary, it doesn't really matter. And we can find out how to spell it and come on back. Podunk counties that have, you know, 500 people total. Is that have, you know, 500 people total, mm -hmm. but you know, uh, this, the larger counties where uh, travel to a physician's office or something along that line. Something along that line is, you know, 30 minutes one way or... And yes, I see that I have a misspelled word there, but that one I'm just going to leave and come back to because sometimes it's faster to edit on the second pass and just leave your mistakes. So I'll leave that one and I'll show you how I'll come back and fix it. Or something along that line is, you know, 30 minutes one way or an hour. One way or an hour one way, those kind of things. Yeah. I think kind of things. Yeah. I think you'll see more community paramedics. More community paramedicine popping up in those areas. And at the end here, there's a word cut off. I'm pretty sure it's areas. That the QA is going to put that in the chunk that it started in. If I didn't guess right, then I'll have a change. If I don't put it in, then I'll probably have a change as well. Typically, we do not transcribe partial words because we don't necessarily know what that word is going to be. Just don't end your transcript with a punctuation mark because that's the QA's job, not yours. You may find when your text is edited by the QA that they have put one in because it needs to be there and that's fine. That is not counted as an error against you even though it is in your change percent. All right, now we're going to go back and we're going to listen again and we're going to edit. Rams, I actually there is a word at the beginning here that I can't quite make out. I'm not sure if it's a partial word or if it happens too quickly. And I'm going to listen one more time, but if I can't get it, I'm just going to go on. Rams, I actually, another big push is... Yeah, see, I think it's a partial word, so I'm going to leave it out because, as I said, we don't transcribe partial words. And start with actually, which is the first word that I can understand. And Grammarly wants me to put a comma there, so I will. Now, I don't do everything Grammarly tells me, but I do know that after it actually, which is usually an introductory word, we usually do put a comma. Big push is going to be for um, uh, video, uh, uh, I lost a word in my head, but uh, telemedicine. Uh, so those are all. And I'm trying to decide if I want to put another false start right here because he, he finds the word and I think I'm going to do it that way.
Uh, so those are also going to be reimbursable. Now, there are pilot programs starting next year through Medicare, but I think you're only going to see those grow over time. And I think Medicare is going to say this is definitely worth keeping patients out of the emergency department. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we're, we're more than willing to pay for this to, uh, to decrease those huge hospital bills. Got it. And do you think a company like Digitech or EMS management consultants would be able to benefit from this shift in, or growth in community paramedicine? Like, would oh, absolutely. Okay. I mean, let's just. I mean, no matter. Now she says okay, but that is just feedback there because she doesn't go on to say anything else. So that's why I didn't include another line here and put her okay because he didn't ask her a question. So that's considered feedback. She doesn't go on to say anything else. I mean, let's just, I mean, no matter what, I mean, if you... Oh, I forgot some words there. I mean, no matter what. No matter what, I mean, if you... I mean... What, I mean, if you, if you, say, for example, um... And I think, I mean, let's just, I mean, no matter what, he's false starting all over the place. I'm going to go back again. Growth in community paramedicine? So we can like, to that. Oh, absolutely. Okay. I mean, let's just, I mean, no matter what, I mean, if you, if, 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 if say, for example, um, and there we go. Now he's finally into what he's going to say. For example, um, I own a. There's an awful lot of commas here. I mean, if, say. Um, I own a billing company and I'm charging, um, you know, my client 3% of, of, um, of revenue. I mean, well, I mean, if they if it's an eight hundred dollar or a thousand dollar transport, then you know I get three percent. Or if they go out and do a community paramedicine visit and they charge four hundred, I'm still getting my three percent. So you know, my, my volume goes up and the number of claims that I'm processing, mm-hmm. uh, but the number might not be as high. But you know, now I'm processing twice as many kind of thing. But. Got it. So community paramedicine. I guess maybe I wasn't sure who like was running that. Is that like being run by like a fire department or a municipality? And it's yes, just yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, it's whoever provides EMS service for that community or you know whatever that jurisdiction is, and they can choose to do it or they can choose not to. But I think, uh, especially in rural areas, and when I say rural, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, the the Podunk counties that have you know 500 people total, mm-hmm. but you know, uh, the the larger counties where. Uh, travel to a physician's office or something along that line is, you know, 30 minutes one way. And here I have a spelling error, so I'm going to fix that. 30 minutes one way or an hour one way, those kind of things. Right. I think you'll see more community paramedicine popping up in those areas. Okay, so I have reviewed my transcript. I feel confident in my changes that I have all of the words as they were said. And you can see if I had just done a one time run through and submitted it, there would have been a lot of errors submitted that the client probably wouldn't ha- that have been happy about. So it's always important to go through your transcript a- at least a second time. If the audio is difficult, you may need to go through it more than that. So, and now I'm going to click Submit. If you want to continue working, just click Submit. If you are ready to be done, click on the drop-down arrow and select Submit and Exit. Thank you for watching this tutorial.